Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to quickly demonstrate how to set up your Raspberry Pi or think of board as NVR, that's Network Video Recorder. To get started you would need Raspberry Pi 2 or higher or think of board series 1 or higher. The way to load your operating system, that would be like 8 GB minimum of an SD card, a simple webcam, Ethernet interface or if you have Wi-Fi you can have a Wi-Fi interface and the means to power your board. So let's get started. Once you have logged into DiadPy, next should be to configure or install the MotionEye software. So let's go ahead and browse for it. It should be under streaming. So let's see if we can find it. Yeah, there, there it is, MotionEye. And along with that, you need to install FFmpeg since it is dependent on that as well. So let's search for that and oh yeah um, my bad so let me go ahead and install that this should take a couple of minutes I'll resume back once the installation is complete the software are installed so you can see the motion this is nothing but the motion eye software now I can just get the IP address of my Raspberry Pi or think about that's 191.61.100 and going to enter it on my client device or my computer and log in and configure the MotionEye software. Let me go ahead and enter the IP address of the Raspberry Pi followed by 8765. This is the port number for MotionEye. The default username is admin, no password. I can go ahead and remember this and log in. So there are two ways to do it, either you click here or click on this button and you should be able to go ahead and configure your camera. I'm going to add a camera. I already have a USB webcam connected. As you can see, you're seeing Rob Chip RK3288. These, these are nothing but the MS, uh, M MIPI CSI interface. I'm not going with this, I'm going to go with the face cam. This is my webcam. I'm going to click OK and it should take a while for it to get configured. As you can see, the live video stream is already visible. So along with that, you can go ahead and scroll all the way bottom and look for the motion detection. Here you can see, you can go ahead and configure for multiple motion detection features. And this, this feature is not always available. It depends on the interface you've chosen. If you are using RTSP interface, it may or may not work all the time. Uh, as you can see here, there are multiple other options like um, you can go to network camera. This is where you enter the RTSP, but if you go with a simple JPEG camera, this might not support the motion detection features. And this is the intermediate gap between the motion detection, like if a motion is detected at the current time it, the next motion detection would not be initiated for 30 seconds so you can go ahead and change it to three seconds five seconds as as you desire but that would also mean that more videos will be recorded more frequently and your storage will be filled up faster and I'm going to go with a few of the debug options I'm going to set it to five seconds and in the movies, I'm going to. Uh, this is the option where you get to store it on the internal interface. And still images, I would need this as well. Motion trigger, forever, and video streaming. Remember this port where you can, instead of entering into configuration, you can directly get the live video stream of the camera which you desire. And the texture relay, the file storage. So it depends on your SD card, or you know if you are chip, if you have booted your Raspberry Pi from an external or USB based storage. It depends on that, and you can even upload this to an FTP or SFTP Google Drive. There are multiple options. I prefer not to do this. And the next option, and that's pretty much it. The resolution would matter, I mean it depends on your camera, I'm going to keep it as low as possible, it depends on my preferences, 
but I would need a better frame rate. So I'm gonna set 15 frames per second. I would not really bother with any other settings. Uh, it, it, it's up to you how you want to configure this. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply. Okay, and the configuration is completed. So now I'm going to make a small gesture or a motion. And as you can see, it is detecting a motion. If you tap on the actual video stream, you have an option here, open movie browser. These are nothing but the video recording all recordings based on the motions that was detected. At the same time, if you need a picture, you can take a live picture here, at snap, and that you should be stored, and you can click here, and as you can see, the, video, the images that are captured are stored here. So that's pretty much it. You can go ahead and add multiple cameras. You can go ahead and select the cameras you want to add. Yeah, that's all I have. Thank you so much. Enjoy.